1 hour and 29 minutes. That is all it took for Cristiano Ronaldo to hit 1 million subscribers on YouTube. But the real story isn't in the numbers, it's in the strategy behind them. And in this video, we're going to unpack the secrets behind Ronaldo's explosive YouTube debut and show you how you can apply them to your own channel. Now you might be saying, of course, Ronaldo blew up on YouTube because he's a soccer superstar. But here's the thing, YouTube isn't just about fame, it's about connecting with your audience in a real way. So how did Ronaldo do it? And more importantly, what you can learn from his success. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the unexpected tactics Ronaldo used to launch his YouTube channel. And the best part is that you can use these strategies to grow your own channel, even if you're not a celebrity. So keep watching to learn how to kickstart your YouTube success story just like Ronaldo did. So ever wondered how some channels seem to appear out of nowhere and instantly dominate? Ronaldo's YouTube launch wasn't just luck or celebrity status. He had a game-changing plan that started weeks before his first video went public. So want to know what it was? Let's rewind to the 8th of July 2024. While the world was unaware, Ronaldo was quietly laying down the foundation for his YouTube empire. He created his channel but kept it under wraps, using this time to meticulously craft his content and strategy. And this wasn't just a case of celebrity showing up and expecting instant success. Ronaldo was playing chess while others were playing checkers. So what exactly was Ronaldo doing this pre-launch phase? First, he was building a content library. Because by the time he hit that publish button, Ronaldo had 19 videos ready to go. That's right, 19! But this wasn't just about quantity though. Because Ronaldo's teams carefully curated a mix of content types of 11 long form videos, 7 YouTube shorts and a channel trailer. This diverse content strategy was designed to cater to different viewers preferences and keep his audience engaged from day one. But here's where it gets interesting. Ronaldo didn't just focus on soccer content. His videos covered a range of topics from family life to wellness and even business. This multifaceted approach wasn't just about showing off different aspects of his life, because it was a strategic move to create a well-rounded channel identity that would appeal to a broader audience. So you might be thinking, that's great for Ronaldo, but how does this apply to me? Here's the thing, while you might not have Ronaldo's resources or fame, you can absolutely apply this pre-launch strategy to your own situation. The key is preparation and diversity. Think about it. What if you launched your channel with multiple videos ready to go? Your new subscribers wouldn't have to wait for your next upload. They could binge watch your content right away, increasing your watch time and boosting your channel in YouTube's algorithm. Plus, having a mix of content types like long videos, shorts and a channel trailer helps you cater to different preferences and attention spans. But it's not just about the videos. Ronaldo also put a lot of thought into his channel branding and he emphasized his connection with fans and shared insight into various aspects of his life. This created a more personal, relatable feel to his channel despite his superstar status. So what's the takeaway here? The secret to Ronaldo's explosive YouTube success wasn't just about his fame. It was about his strategic planning, diverse content and thoughtful branding. And guess what? These are all the things you can do too, even if you're starting from zero. Now you might be wondering, how exactly did Ronaldo's content strategy translate into such rapid growth? Well, that's where things get even more interesting. So in the next section, we're going to break down Ronaldo's content mix and show you how you can apply this principle to your own channel no matter what your niche in. So by now you've heard about Ronaldo's explosive growth, but the real secret lies in his content mix. It's not just about making videos, it's about making the right videos. Because Ronaldo's approach challenges everything you think you knew about building a YouTube channel. So are you ready to see how it works? Let's break down Ronaldo's content strategy. He launched with a whopping 19 videos, but here's the kicker. 11 were long form videos, 7 were YouTube shorts and he topped it off with a channel trailer. 
But this wasn't a random assortment. It was carefully crafted content Buffett designed to cater to different viewer preferences and attention spans. Think about it. Some viewers love diving deep into long-form content while others prefer quick and snackable videos. And by offering both, Ronaldo ensured he had something for everyone. But it's not just about video length. Ronaldo's content covered a wide range of topics from soccer of course, to family life, wellness and even business. And this diverse approach created the way around the channel identity. It's like a saying, hey, I'm not just a soccer player, I'm a person with many interests just like you. This strategy helps viewers connect with him on multiple levels, increasing the chances they'll stick around and keep watching. So now you might be thinking, that's great for Ronaldo, but how does this apply to me? Here's the thing, you can implement a similar strategy even if you're not a global superstar. Let's say you're a fitness YouTuber. Instead of just posting workout videos, you could mix it up with nutrition tips, a day in a life vlogs and quick exercise shorts. This variety keeps your content fresh and appeals to a wider audience. The key is to think about your niche and brainstorm related topics that your audience might be interested in. So don't be afraid to experiment with different video formats and subjects. You might be surprised at what resonates with your viewers. Remember, a strategic content mix isn't just about keeping things interested. It's about engaging a wider audience and keep them coming back for more. When viewers know they can expect a variety of content from your channel, they're more likely to subscribe and turn on their notifications. So they don't want to miss out on what you'll post next. But here's a pro tip. Don't just throw around random content at the wall and see what sticks. Pay attention to your analytics, see which types of videos performs best, which ones keeps viewer watching longest and which ones lead to most subscriptions. Use this data to refine your content strategy over time. Ronaldo's content mix also shows the importance of balancing consistency with variety. While he covers different topics, there is still a clear theme running to his channel and it's about giving viewers a glimpse into his life and passions. And with this he creates a sense of cohesion that keeps viewers coming back. So what's the takeaway here? A diverse content strategy can be a game changer for your channel. It allows you to showcase different aspects of your personality or brand, cater to various viewer preferences and keep your content fresh and engaging. Whether you're just starting out or looking to revamp your existing channel, consider how you can diversify your content while staying true to your core message. Content is king but promotion is the kingdom. Ronaldo didn't just create great videos, he made sure the world knew about them. And here's the kicker. You can use this same strategy even without his millions of followers. And do you want to know how? It all comes down to leveraging your existing audience, no matter how small it might be. And Ronaldo's approach to promoting his YouTube channel is a masterclass in cross-platform promotion. Because he used his massive social media following over 917 million across platforms, to drive traffic to his new YouTube channel. But don't worry if you're not a global superstar with millions of followers. The principles behind Ronaldo's strategy can work for creators at any level. It's all about making the most of what you have. So how did Ronaldo do it? He started by updating his social media bios with links to his YouTube channel. This simple step made it easy for his followers to find and subscribe to his new channel. And he also created engaging posts that encouraged his followers to check out his YouTube content. But he didn't stop there. Ronaldo shared snippets and highlights from his YouTube videos on platforms like Instagram and Twitter, giving his followers a taste of what they could expect on his channel. So you might be thinking, that's great for Ronaldo, but I only have a few hundred followers on Instagram. Here's the thing, those few hundred followers can be your secret weapon. Each one of them is a potential YouTube subscriber, and more importantly, they're people who already know you 
and like you. So start by updating your social media bios with your YouTube channel link. It's a simple step, but it makes it easy for your followers to find your channel. Next, create posts that highlight your YouTube content. Share behind the scenes glimpses of your video creation process or tease upcoming videos to build anticipation. One effective strategy is to create shorts, engaging clips from your YouTube videos and share them on other platforms. This gives your followers a taste of your content and encourages them to check out the full video on YouTube. Remember the goal is to pique their curiosity and give them a reason to click through your channel. But here's a pro tip. Don't just promote your videos. Engage with your followers, respond to their comments, and build a community. Because when people feel connected to you, they're more likely to support your content across different platforms. Now you might be worried about coming across as spammy. The key is to strike a balance. Don't just make every post about your YouTube channel. Instead, integrate your YouTube promotion into a regular content mix. Share personal updates, engage with your followers, and then sprinkle mentions of your YouTube content. Remember that consistency is key. Don't just promote your channel once and then expect miracles. Make it a regular part of your social media strategy. And over time, your followers will come to expect and look forward to your YouTube content. And here's something that might surprise you. Cross-platform promotion can actually help you grow on multiple platforms at the same time. Because as you direct your Instagram followers to YouTube, for example, some of your new YouTube subscribers might follow you back on Instagram. It's a win-win situation. So what's the takeaway here? Strategic cross-form platform promotion can significantly boost your channel's initial growth, even if you're starting with a small following. It's not about having millions of followers. It's about effectively engaging the audience you do have and giving them compelling reasons to check out your YouTube content. And now that we've seen Ronaldo's YouTube playbook, let's break it down for your channel. So the key is to plan ahead, mix up your content, and spread the word. Ronaldo didn't just rely on his fame, he used smart strategies that anyone can apply. Start by planning your content before you launch. Create a mix of video types that keep things interesting. Long videos, shorts, and a channel trailer can cater to different viewers. Then use your existing social media to promote your YouTube. Even if you don't have millions of followers, your current audience can kickstart your channel's growth. And if you're serious about taking your YouTube channel to the next level, then now is the time to act. Because we just unpacked the secrets behind Ronaldo's explosive success and the best part is that you can apply these strategies today. So why wait? Hit that subscribe button and join our community of creators who are transforming their channels with smart, actionable tips. So don't miss out the latest strategies that could be a game changer for your YouTube journey. Subscribe now and let's build your success story together. Remember, success on YouTube isn't about just being famous. It's about connecting with your audience and consistently creating content that they love. So are you ready to start your YouTube journey? With these strategies, you're already one step ahead. So let's make your channel the next YouTube success story.